The past three years have been a roller coaster for student loan borrowers. The Biden administration has promised forgiveness, but now there's another legal hurdle. Sarah Wilson joins us in studio with what this means for millions of Americans. Sarah. Valerie, this is something that has been so confusing for so many students. They have so many questions, but because of what's happening in the courts, there really are not a lot of answers. Millions of student loan borrowers left in legal limbo again. It's confusing to say the least. The Department of Education announcing a pause on payments and interest for borrowers enrolled in the popular save plan. This is where it gets interesting. It was based off an income driven repayment plan stating that the Department of Education was taking overly broad authority on it so that people could literally pay zero dollars. In other words, anyone earning less than $33,000 a year didn't have to pay a dime. Payments, regardless of what you make, were also capped at 5% of someone's income. That used to be 10. So they're saying it's unconstitutional and overbearing to uh, taxpayers. Red states are leading the charge, partially based on a University of Pennsylvania study that estimates the SAVE plan would cost taxpayers $475 billion. Alternative past for student debt relief. But the Biden administration argues too many students are saddled with too much debt and will default. We're being as aggressive as possible. We want as much debt relief to as many students, uh, many borrowers as quickly as possible. But based on the court case, it won't be quick. Two pass forward are the Supreme Court actually takes it up or the Supreme Court declines to take it up and they let the lower courts battle out to see what the outcome is. And For now, financial experts like Alex Langan recommend students sit tight. If uh, you can, I would recommend to keep paying down, at least you pay your principal down. However, if your ultimate goal is to have it forgiven, uh, don't do anything rash. And the Supreme Court has not said if it will take up this case. The Biden administration hopes it will. But remember, Alicia, this is the same court that struck down his other plan last year. All right, Sarah, thank you.